In this video we're going to focus on textures and the process of importing textures and working with textures in Unreal. So I'll open up the content browser. Before I do anything else I'm going to open up one of these materials that I imported with my original FBX object. Now we can see in the material editor that we have our textures and these textures imported automatically when we uh, exported our FBX asset and brought it over to Unreal. It actually created a material for us and imported our textures, the fuse and normal map, automatically hooked them up to the material. But we need to be able to see how to import uh, textures independently of FBX. So if I right click and go to import, I can actually import a variety of texture formats. I'm going to import a targa. And I have this little sample texture, so it just brings it in. And this isn't using FBX or anything like that. Now if you double click on the texture, you'll open up the texture viewer. And this window is pretty interesting. It's kind of like, think of it almost like the static mesh editor, but for textures. So you'll be able to preview the texture. You have a lot of the same menu items and, and things from the static mesh editor. If I make any changes in Photoshop, I can hit that big re-import button and re-import the texture to be able to see the changes. So if I change the color of this to blue or green or anything like that, I can re-import it. Now on the right we have the details panel and in the details panel we have access to change a lot of different settings. So one of the big areas here is the adjustments rollout and here we can change things like the brightness. So I could change it from the default of 1 to say 10 or 0.1 and increase or decrease the brightness. I can also adjust the brightness curve. I can also adjust the vibrance. We've also got saturation and we've got hue and all kinds of cool stuff. I encourage you to come in here and experiment. Um, that's the best way to figure out what settings you want to use for your texture. Compression, this is actually really important. When we import textures into Unreal, most of the time you'll be using the default compression, but depending on what you're doing, it could change. For example, for a normal map, you notice that my compression setting is set to normal map. And Unreal did this automatically when I imported uh, my FBX with the material because I had this normal map plugged into the normal map slot of that blend shader in Maya. That's how Unreal was able to know that it's a normal map. So if you have this normal map and the compression setting is set to something else, you're going to end up with a problem. We also have this little view widget up here in the top left that allows us to see the individual channels of the texture. So let me show you how that works with this other texture. I'll go over here to the view button and if I click that it'll expand this little menu so I can check the alpha for example. So here's an alpha. If I have an alpha channel with my texture, in this case a targa does support an alpha channel, I can see the alpha. I can also see the red, the green, and the blue channels independently. And I can also change the background. So I can change it from default to say something like this checkered fill and I get this checkered background. And it just depends, it's all about preference, what you like to see behind your texture, how you like to view this stuff. We also get some information here in the top right, for example, the size that it was imported at, the current size that it's being compressed to, whether the texture is being streamed, also the format, so in this case DXT5, and the compression method will determine the format and all that stuff. So if I open up a material over here, material editor window to get a texture over here and plug it into uh, say for example material that's pretty easy all you gotta do is drag and drop the texture from the content browser into the material editor and it's ready to go